suspended for ten thousand. Then, that the bar can't pay the English account side. Two hours account side no pension. Today, love the pen, love now, be pen touch you. Me too, me the mid concert on Monday. What's the pen then? Behind the scene, the Salungjin, Amawan, Chil Bola, Kun, Bansam, the Kisangan, it's a recognition trip. Bangang Tan, Hundotin, Amawan, Kipadu, Chil Bongotin, Lelen Hoki.
Mr. Pizzi has said you want to communicate two things. I want to communicate three things. One more than him. Because I need more understanding. That's a good point. Education is a combination of or the game and all. Three things. Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. We found in Pro, those three are trifolding. In other words, the alfalfa leaves, you look at the trifolding, three heads on one step. What is knowledge? Knowledge is getting information. You acquire knowledge about anything. That's knowledge. And what is understanding? Finding the foundations of that knowledge you have. That's uh, understanding. What is wisdom? Wisdom is applying what you know. You may have knowledge of things, you learn, you acquire. I don't know about in India or Manipur, in the US, before you are allowed to drive, allowed to go on the street. You, you study, you take a test, written test, and after that you qualify. They take you on driving test. After that you pass that, they give you a license. You are allowed to drive. The first license I got in Manipur was, uh, I know the Secretary of Transportation. I pick up the phone and I said, can I have license? What do you want? She gave me a license without appearing at anywhere. That's a license. But that's a license for destruction. In education, we get the information. That's the knowledge. But the knowledge is without understanding is dangerous. You know the you know the the art of driving. You may be probably good in driving, but you don't know the consequences of your driving. There are signposts in India. We don't see road signs very much. In the U.S., you drive. You watch out for the road signs. It gives you direction. That's understanding. You have an understanding of the road signs. If they say dead end means you die, it didn't say you die, dead end means you cannot go beyond that. So understanding gives you cautions that you don't do, you shouldn't do. But then comes wisdom. Many, many students has knowledge, understanding, but they don't have wisdom. The Bible says wisdom from above is peaceable, loving, and kind, understanding. Wisdom is the ultimate goal of education. Very few has wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what you know and applying right. I got a license by calling somebody who is in charge. She issued the license without me training, without me exploring about 
the evils of not following the rules. What happened? I just go ahead and drive. If I hit on some object or run into another car, whose fault is that? I'm not taking precaution. I didn't have understanding of the consequences of not following the rule. So, education gives you knowledge, can give you understanding, but application of your understanding and your knowledge will only come if you allow yourself practically applying the wisdom. I have studied for a long time. I feel like I've been student for life. But one thing I don't regret is when I studied, I learned a lot of things. But when I started graduate school, then we do research. Today, I'm confident what I know is what I know. I have taken the step to apply. You don't go sequentially. If you want to follow the right path. In mathematics, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 100. In letter, alphabet, U, A, B, C, all the way to Z. There is a pattern, there is a, a step to follow. I didn't pay attention when I was in college. You learn something that somebody had proven. You learn something that you know is true, but you don't test it. You look at somebody who is struggling to do, ride a bicycle. You laugh at the person. But if you get on the bicycle, you're going to fall down. You're going to do the same thing. You try it, you test it. Let's go research. You've proven what you learned. The theory remains the theory until you've proven in your research then you got what is called application. That's called wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what to do when you are in trouble. People who doesn't have wisdom what do they do? They get into trouble, they seek help, but instead of that, you apply, you test it, what you know, next time that comes around, you're not going to make the same mistake. So, what am I saying? Education is, I'm not saying that you, you go master's degree or you go to PhD in order to research out. But whatever you learn in high school, Whatever you learn in college, you can test it. Let me challenge one of the common things that we learn in college or high school biology. Men come from Big Bang Theory. Men come from lower organism, micro microbe here into higher organism and then highly complex human being. That's wrong. I've studied genetic, I've studied DNA for 25 years. And no, I'm not, I'm not seen they are putting together by random. They are precisely, orderly form, 
human being. You know how many blood vessels, how long you have in your body? There's 60,000 miles of blood vessels in your body. Your blood travels through those 60,000 and delivered to 30 million customers. Who are the customers? Your cells. Every cell is connected with blood vessels, supply and deliver uh, blood and deliver what's called oxygen. That's how you breathe. That's how you are alive. That's not by accident. You can prove it. Thing to learn in high school, you don't just believe it. You can test it. If the book says you boil water, you put your finger in it, it cool. You won't believe it. You don't have to test it. But there are other things, half truth, half lies, you can test it. So applying what you know is called wisdom. Today, in the world, more than half of the people do not want to apply wisdom because they don't have it. How can you apply what you don't have? In, in Psalm 37, delight your, to yourself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. God will give you desires of your heart. I'm not a miracle child. I'm not the most ever person. But one thing I know, God give me direction because I put him first. Who in the world Somebody from Mordboom will pass and college and go to overseas and finish PhD and recognize as one of the scientists in the world in DNA and more particularly genetically modified organism. I put my name in among the people of those who do research in genetically modified organism. I bring this to you that Shalom Academy was started precisely for that. I never had a good education. I was in government school. The teachers asked, he comes in the class, what do you want to do today? You want to hear a story or do you want to learn lessons? Story, story, we said. And he was happy to tell a story. And stories are not good story either. So we substitute learning for stories. And what the end of that road? Have I not tried? Have I not rejected? that lifestyle of education, I would have been one of the people who are paddling in the village today. But I refuse to accept that. I refuse to accept that classification. And I work hard. I applied what the Lord has shown me. Today I can tell you there is a, a distinct road to follow. You want to be different. You want to make a difference in the lives of people. Many parents cannot afford to send their kids to good schools. Why not 
supplementing good school with money, why not start one? That was where I had. I can bring the school to the people rather than sending the people to the school. It's not the best school. It's not the most well-organized school. But we do produce some people who have taken the limelight. I started 1984, the year I went to U.S. People have helped me today. We have a structure. We have a group of people banded themselves willing to teach without great reward. I wish I can reward them, but the reward is more than I can pay for. The Lord will reward you. You are making a difference in the child's life. Your job is point A to point B. Your job is one to ten. And after that, your job is completed. You see the result. Don't be satisfied with one part of education, which is knowledge. Today, you all are very familiar with information age. In Morbung alone, almost everyone has a cell phone, smartphone. They are so fast that they can touch every, everything in the world with their fingertips. Learning has speed up. Even in a village like this, information has double, triple, and they know more than they should know. But make sure that you filter it. You filter it for your benefit of your education. Knowledge, don't be satisfied with knowledge at all. Hunger for understanding. How do you understand? Investigate what you know, and then apply whether they are true or not. When you apply it, you'll find out the benefit of education. So, I close with that. The three things I talk about. In Tado, wisdom is, I call it, Tilatina, understanding, head or dingho. Wisdom is, Amantani, Nehetsu Amantani, Amantani, Tina. If I give you one lakh rupees, you are a child of five years old. You won't know what to do. You probably tear apart. But if you are a man or woman of understanding who can apply knowledge, you make use of it. So, wisdom is what God gave. Wisdom is what making the right decision. Wisdom is glorifying God in your life. So, get knowledge, but more so, get wisdom. And getting wisdom to glorify your Father in heaven and you will make 
certified contented life as well. So all the Salome Academy students, faculty, everyone involved in the ministry of Salome Academy, seek for wisdom, seek for God, seek after His righteousness. He will exalt this for His glory. This is not for my glory. This is not for your glory. This is for God's glory. This is the place where we learn to appreciate who God is. Thank you very much.